This video is brought to you by the Deck of Many and Humblewood.net. This video is also brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Trollandtoad.com is the world's largest online retail store for D&D and Pathfinder Battles miniatures, new and old. Use the coupon code GOBLIN for 5% off your order of all D&D and Pathfinder minis. Welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. I'm Theo, and we have something special to share with you today. This is the Dungeons & Dragons Beholder Collector set for 4th edition. This was released back in 2010 and features four types of Beholder minis, plus Dungeon Delve stat cards. This was billed as a very limited edition, only available in hobby stores. All the sculpts had been available before in other booster packs, but three of the ones in this set have a very different paint job. It had an MSRP at the time of about $35. We thought you might enjoy seeing it, so let's open it up and take a look. Beholders were one of the first monsters created specifically for Dungeons & Dragons that weren't based on mythological or pre-existing fantasy creatures. They were created by Terry Kuntz and detailed by Gary Gygax for the first Dungeons & Dragons supplement, Greyhawk, back in 1975. A beholder was originally described as a sphere of many eyes. Beholders of many varieties have appeared in every edition of D&D. The ones in this set are specifically from 4th edition, which was active from 2008 to 2014. The Eye Tyrant is the default beholder detailed in the 4th edition monster manual. They consider themselves to be the pinnacle of creation, destined to rule over all lesser creatures. Their egos are unmatched, and they cannot even tolerate other beholders. They attack with ten different eye rays, all of which have different effects, from causing various types of damage, to throwing or restraining foes, all the way up to petrifying, disintegrating, or just outright killing them. They were considered level 19 creatures. In 5th edition, the standard beholder has a challenge rating of 13. This standard Beholder mini was also included in the Dangerous Delve set released in 2009. They're almost identical, but the Collector set one has an improved paint job with red pupils in the eye stalks, and it has a plastic base compared to the rubber base of the Dangerous Delves version. Here is the Eye Tyrant next to the Beholder mini, which was a rare in the Icons of the Realms Rage of Demons set. And here it is next to the unpainted Beholder from the Nolzer's Marvelous Minis line. Beholders were expanded upon in the second Monster Manual for 4th edition, including the introduction of the Beholder Eye of Frost, an especially cruel type of Beholder who lives in isolation and frozen environments where Beholders are not normally found. Unlike your typical eye tyrant who may concoct long-term plans for conquering and ruling an entire region of the world, the Eye of Frost Beholder is happy enjoying whatever cruel pleasure it can find in the moment without any care being given to long-term strategies. They were often under the employ of frost giants or oni who used them as hunters or guards. This level 14 creature could encase itself in ice armor, weaken foes with its central eye, and then attack with three different eye rays. The freeze ray caused cold damage. The telekinesis ray would push targets into a more advantageous position or off the sides of mountains. And the ice ray would freeze foes. The Eye of Frost Beholder has not appeared in 5th edition as of this recording. This mini shares a sculpt with a Beholder Eye of Flame mini from the Dungeons of Dread set released in 2008, as seen here in a picture from minisgallery.com. The Eye of Shadow Beholder was introduced in the third Monster Manual for 4th edition. They are beholders who are warped by spending too much time in the Shadowfell. They are considered level 12 monsters who could teleport and hide in the shadows where they could heal. They can strike out with three eye ray attacks. The blinding ray does just that while causing radiant damage. The thundering ray deals thunder damage while deafening foes. And the shadow bond ray deals necrotic damage while wrapping its foe in shadow energy. Until the effect ends, the beholder and any other shadow creatures nearby gain concealment while next to the shadow bond ray victim. While we don't have an official stat block for a Shadow Beholder in 5th edition, you can make one by adapting the 4th edition abilities using the Shadow Dragon template in the 5th edition Monster Manual. This sculpt was originally a regular Beholder from the 2005 set called Death Knell 
seen here in a picture from minisgallery.com. We do have a Shadow Beholder Mini in the Icons of the Realm set, Rage of Demons, presented here on the right side of your screen. It was considered very rare and can be hard to track down on the aftermarket. Finally, we have the Ghost Beholder, also from the third monster manual for 4th edition. When especially willful and angry beholders eventually succumb to death, they may rise again as Ghost Beholders. Having tasted death once, these ghost beholders are not keen to experience that feeling of oblivion again, so they become even more cautious and paranoid. Now incorporeal, they hide in floors and walls, extending a single eye stalk to spy on their surroundings. As level 18 creatures, they are well equipped to defend themselves. They also have three eye ray attacks. The first is called Chill of the Grave, which inflicts cold and necrotic damage, while slowing or immobilizing the target. Ghostly possession can daze a target or possess it entirely. And the Killing Thought Eye Ray causes the target to strike itself with whatever melee weapon it has available. 5th edition does not have the Ghost Beholder, but an Undead Death Tyrant instead. This mini was repurposed from the sculpt originally used as a Beholder Lich in the 2007 set Unhallowed, also seen here from minisgallery.com. And here is our Ghost Beholder next to the Death Tyrant Mini from the Dungeon of the Mad Maid set. It was a rare in that set, but it's available on many retail sites. And here are our four collector set Beholders next to some of the other more recent Beholder Minis. This Beholder collection is mostly a historical relic at this point. You can still find a few of the full sets out there, and some retailers, including our sponsor for this video, Troll and Toad, have a few of the individual Beholder minis if any of them catches your eye. We were lucky to get our hands on this set, but it took us a long time to find one at a reasonable price. Over the next few months, we're going to start showcasing some older sets like this from previous editions of Dungeons & Dragons. Some of the older minis are actually still quite impressive and will fit right in on your 5th edition gaming table. Let us know what you think. Are you interested in seeing some coverage of older sets? And don't worry, most of the older minis we'll be covering are much more widely available than this collector set. We want to thank our two sponsors for this video. Our videos this week will also be sponsored by Troll and Toad. This holiday season is starting, and TrollandToad.com is your source for all the D&D and Pathfinder minis you could hope for. If you're looking for great deals, be sure to visit TrollandToad.com on Black Friday weekend and Cyber Monday, that's November 29th through December 1st, for all the best deals on miniatures. And use the coupon code GOBLIN to get an extra 5% off and let them know that you support the Gallant Goblin. And as always, we want to thank our ongoing sponsor, the Deck of Mini. There's so much exciting news on the Humblewood front. We're counting down the days now. It seems like they've received their standees, which was the last component they needed before packing up and shipping out the box sets. They also announced that they commissioned Jake Kaufman of Mint Potion, who did the soundtrack for Shovel Knight, to make a 10-track music album to play during your game sessions. The music will have variants depending on how intense the encounter is. You're listening to the Alder Heart theme here. You can hear the full track at the link in the description below. In case you haven't heard, Humblewood is a new 5e campaign setting book which includes 10 new playable races based on birds and other animals. It takes place in a magical forest that's currently under existential threat. The book contains an adventure for levels 1 through 5. Learn more and order your copy at humblewood.net. Thanks for joining us today. Again, let me know your thoughts on older miniature sets in the comment section below. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Mm -hmm.